Introducing the 2021-2 Schrodinger release. Let's take a look at some of the new features and enhancements. Starting in Maestro, significantly more flexibility has been added to the new Import from Project dialog. Here, one can selectively import entries and properties from another project into the current project. The dialog opens with the contents of the chosen project displayed in the same form as the project table and with similar functionality, such as selecting entries from a text search or via a matching smarts pattern. Control which properties to display and import, and optionally show 2D structures. Entries will be imported along with any associated data like surfaces, trajectories, or hypothesis data. Maestro also introduces a new workspace animation feature to rock or spin the objects in the workspace. Simply go to Workspace, Animate. The animation settings allows you to control the movement, including the speed. And here, one can save the animation as a moving GIF to be embedded into presentation slides. This release introduces a new and improved protein interaction analysis panel, ideal for analyzing pairwise protein-protein interactions, defined as two sets, be it between two sets of chains, two residue lists, or by custom atom selection. In addition to visualizing the interacting residues in the workspace, the panel offers a new interaction diagram for visualizing the protein-protein interactions in 2D. So in this example of an antibody-antigen complex, we can instantly see key antigen residues in pink interacting with the heavy and light chains shown in blue and green respectively of the antibody. Over in the shape screening panel, it's now possible to use a phase pharmacophore hypothesis as a shape query. And there's a new option to generate a shape screening PDF report. Easily visualize top scoring hits and shape similarity scores. The 2D view of the molecules shows overlap of features with the shape query, where the features are color coded by type and the extent of the feature overlap depicted by the filled in circle. In the FEP plus panel, a new advanced option to automatically create a POPC membrane bilayer and run the membrane equilibration protocol prior to FEP simulation is available. This is useful if the input structure does not already have an explicit membrane, but the protein is compatible with the OPM database. While enhancements to protein FEP see support for multi-site mutations, Protein edge analysis can now be viewed from the panel or in a PDF report. And protein FEP correlation plots can now also be generated. In the multiple sequence viewer, one can now focus analysis on special regions. For example, to analyze specific CDR loop regions across several antibodies, simply right click on a residue and expand the selection to the same annotation. Copy the selected sequences over to a new tab, and then analyze the sequences in detail, like performing an alignment, computing a pairwise comparison matrix, or generating a sequence dendrogram. Also in the MSV, the hover tooltip can now display 2D structures, ideal for visualizing the ionization or tautomeric states of a residue, as well as the structures of non-standard residues. In Active Learning Glide docking, one can now load pre-prepared grid files. And finally, in the ligand alignment panel, usability improvements have been made for assigning custom atom weights. Here, one can quickly set the default atom weights and apply custom weights to specified atoms. This is useful for emphasizing or de-emphasizing chosen parts of the reference structure in the superposition scoring. Now, these are just some of the highlights of the 21-2 Schrodinger release. For the complete list and to learn more, please visit schrodinger.com forward slash new features.